Hello smart people, Rose here. Welcome back to Academic Gus and this is day 19 of Academic Gus and since today is Humanitarian Day, I thought why not share with you what is humanitarian logistics? I believe that I've said before that my PhD is actually in humanitarian logistics, so I'm using operations research in the humanitarian logistics field, and it's something that it's really interesting for me, and I'm very passionate about humanitarian logistics. So what exactly is humanitarian logistics, you may ask? Well, it's basically the coordination of human relief in disaster situations. And these disaster situations can be man-made or even nature can create disaster situations like the most common we see on the news would be hurricanes and earthquakes and even tsunamis. Those would be disasters that by themselves uh, put the human race or whoever was in that area that was affected under need of humanitarian relief, that being essentials as water, food, even healthcare, that it's not easily accessible because of the damage that area went through due to the disaster. And on the other hand, the man-made disasters can be anything from a war to even a drought can be man-made. So yeah, you have a disaster and then therefore you have a need to relieve that human suffering or that human need. And humanitarian logistics is somewhat like logistics, regular logistics, in which you are planning to move throughout your supply chain all these elements, either being it services or something physical. However, within humanitarian logistics, the very interesting and peculiar part is that you don't necessarily know the quantity of things you need, where exactly you need to deliver that help, and how exactly you should do it because there's an uncertainty aspect. For example, in an earthquake, you don't know which roads are under what condition. So you don't necessarily know what is the route you're going to take until you do a damage assessment and so on. And every disaster can by itself dictate other conditions that are not necessarily applicable to, let's say, a hurricane. And yeah, that's the somewhat the beauty of humanitarian logistics that you have to think outside the box and prepare for things that are not necessarily dealt with in day-to-day -day logistics. So that's a brief version of what is humanitarian logistics. If you want to learn more, um, I put a lot of links down in the description box for articles you can read and even some websites you can go and peruse and learn more about humanitarian logistics. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye smart people!